In this video, we're gonna talk about these machines to make vinyl lettering. If you have a very small budget or if you are a small business owner and want to make and apply your own vinyl letters, well, this video might be for you. So let's get started. I said vinyl lettering because to me, that's what these machines are really good at making mainly letters if you only get the Silhouette Studio Basic Edition. I'm not really sure about the other, like the Business Edition and all that. I'm not really sure what other tools come with it. Like, are they really good at making logos from zero? Because if you only have the Basic Edition, you really need to have an image that is really good resolution to be able to use it. Now, if you wanna create a logo from zero, that can be a real challenge having this edition, but let us know in the comments if you own the business edition and if it's a lot better or if you are able to create a logo from zero. We would really love to know. Thank you for your feedback. We got a whole bunch of pieces of vinyl. What we did, or we tried to do for this project, we tried to use like little scrap pieces of vinyl and transfer. Unfortunately, we didn't have big enough vinyl. This machine is so small that we just have it sitting next to the graphic vinyl cutter. Let me get it out. Put it here. Oh my God, it's so dusty that we've been using the Cameo 4 Pro a lot. We've forgotten about this vinyl cutter. Sorry, Cameo 4, that we have you sitting there doing nothing. But today's your day to shine. And we're gonna use the auto blade, which I'm gonna show you right now. This is the blade that we've used so far, auto blade, for every single project that we uh, we use the cameo cutters, we always use that blade, and it comes with the cutting mats and your wires. One of the best features for each vinyl cutter, besides being very affordable, each one comes with their own software, and it is totally free. I'm talking about the Silhouette Studio Basic Edition, and this is where you can download them. And I guess this is going to be today's project. And by the way, guys, if you're liking this video, we appreciate if you hit the like, also subscribe uh, for more amazing content. I guess I'm just used to using the graph deck, but every time we use this machine, we're not gonna sugarcoat everything because it's, uh, I mean, for someone like me, who's not so patient, I see so struggle with, I don't know if it's the, the file Bluetooth. or I'm the trying, Bluetooth. No, I'm trying to find the Bluetooth. For some reason, I haven't been able to connect it. Uh, we don't have any issues connecting the Cameo Pro, but this small vinyl cutter, like I usually use the wire, the cable or the wire, but I think I'm going to go back to that. I don't think I'm, I'm willing to wait that long. I'm just going to go ahead and plug it, you know, like we used to. What he should have done from the very beginning. Yep. Yeah. Let's go to Silhouette Studio. And I'm going to type in whatever I need to type in. Watch out, or actually it's watch your step. And this is how I'm going to, I'm actually gonna make it a little bold. My mouse is acting up. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna double click, oops. And then I'm going to pull down like this or like that. And then this is how I do vertical. And if you can see the letters like are to the left so i'm going to select them and then click here and then go to the second one and now they're centered this is how we want them i already have the measurements and i have to just enter those make them exactly like these and we have our images ready that's how easy it is if you use the um, silhouette studio it, when working with just letters and now i'm going to go ahead and add a width box i just went to the shape tool or the drawing tool and selected the first rectangle and then i'm just gonna create a box i'm gonna go ahead and send our design and go to the top corner the right corner and the blade depth we're gonna have it at three and then the force we're gonna have it at 13 and then the speed we're gonna have it like 20 or uh, yeah 20 i think that's good and now we have to align the vinyl we're gonna use the application rollers and I'm going to place the roll on top of them and make sure that the tip of it goes under the first roll and now I'm going to go bring it to the vinyl cutter align it as best as we can once it is aligned I'm going to send it I'm going to get an idea of if the vinyl is aligned or not 
and it's not moving at all from here if you can bring I was gonna say the camera but the phone to the front and see how much we have sent to the back and it is not shifting it's not moving it's staying in place that means we are good to go I'm gonna roll this back now we're gonna send it oops something wrong here I think the media is uh, I have to decrease this a little bit which is not a big deal like I said you need a lot of patience yep it's because we're so spoiled spoiled yeah I was looking the graphic. for graphic yep the graphic so easy compared to this but you get what you pay for but I mean for two hundred dollars you can't go wrong like seriously it is worth it hopefully we get it right Hopefully the machine doesn't stop in the middle. It's moving freely right now. Seems to be working fine. I guess we'll find out once we start waiting out the vinyl. Now I'm gonna bring the vinyl to the back and then cut it and then we can start waiting out. I added the weed box, hopefully to make it easy when waiting out since the Letters are vertical. We have to weed out this way, but so far it's working nicely. No issues. And repeat the same step. This, uh, the letters on this side, I think they're a little bit smaller. Like we said, this machine is perfect. If you just want to do start doing letters right away, it doesn't take that much knowledge I mean once you download the software and learn the basics then you can just pretty much type in the letters the services the name of your business phone number and things like that and that's how easy it is one thing about this project like the only concern that I have is that the we didn't measure the surface our customer sent us the measurements this is not the first time we have done different projects for him and so far he has sent us the right information uh, that's why I'm confident, but still, you know, I'm still wondering if he sent the right measurements, but I guess we're about to find out. This transfer, the paper transfer, is a very friendly transfer for one person to apply it. It doesn't wrinkle like the plastic ones, and especially this one is the high tack, meaning it won't give us a hard time when lifting the letters. Let me show you real quick. like. See, usually when you use a paper transfer that it is a low tack, it gives you a hard time when trying to lift the paper, the vinyl from the backing paper. That's one of the reasons why we didn't want to use any paper transfer, but it was because we didn't have the right transfer, I guess. We're ready to head out to the place. We have very small equipment. We don't really need that much, but we're just taking additional, just in case, like the goof off. Sometimes we don't know when we're gonna need it. Luis is gonna try the, um, the new solution that the we made. If yeah. you haven't watched the episode, uh, we're gonna leave the link uh, on the end of this video. Yep, and then the rapid tag as well, just in case. And of course, our, um, the decals and the water. Yeah, very important. It's hot. Yeah, I'm actually doing this on purpose. I'm taking a little bit longer. Um, usually with the other transfer, the, uh, the plastic one, the decals wrinkle so bad. And like right now, the since we're using the paper transfer, it looks in perfect shape. Hopefully they stay like that. So I we're guess. gonna leave it in the back of the car on purpose too. Just in case, yeah, we'll see how it reacts. Customer. Yeah, we usually do that whenever we see an old customer, we like to record it. Show off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're big show off. Yeah, pretty much. That's what he's trying to say. We're here. This is supposed to be an easy project, but usually... Easy. Yeah, easy. yeah, I was gonna say, usually when we think that something's gonna be easy, it usually ends up being the opposite. Just wanna show you before we get the sticker or the decal out of the car, it only has like probably one wrinkle here, not a big deal. If we had used the other transfer, it would be in worse shape. I'm, I'm going to clean the surface and I'm going to use the solution, the homemade solution. I'm going to apply some of that. You know, we're trying to save money by not using too much rapid tag because it's getting expensive. Like the, the application fluids are getting really expensive. Those are 
gonna use our little magnets too. All the links below if you wanna extra support us. We'd really appreciate it. Yeah. We're gonna do a wet application since it's really hot. I'm gonna get rid of the backing paper and I'm just going to cut with our scissors. It's a little windy right now. And then I'm gonna apply some of that. I'm not gonna use too much, just a little bit. And the reason I'm doing a wet application is because I wanna be able to position this if I need to, just to make sure that it looks aligned. It looks good to me right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the fluid like this. And then we can finish the top. We're gonna let this sit here for a minute. I'm gonna bring all the little magnets to the bottom. I may end up letting Luis finish this because I'm a little short. If I cannot reach over. Yeah, let me take over, shorty. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and try to find the center. Because that's why holes we... are a little tricky to because we're using a wet application method, that's why you can maneuver a little bit. It may end up taking a little bit to remove the transfer. This is the first time we apply it on this surface, right? Using the yep. paper transfer. The reason we are using this transfer, even though we had a smaller one, we just want to, I guess, give you guys feedback. Like the more we use it, I think the better feedback we can give you. It's only been like literally like two minutes, not even two minutes that we applied. And so far so good. It's a really hot day, plus we use a low tack. I mean, compared to the AT75, it's a low tack transfer. It's so. a little bit lower, yeah? Yeah, I've noticed that too. I, mu I must say, I'm really liking this transfer. It is really good, but it is not the best for layering color since it's kind of like pale or like blurry. This is the other, the second that we have to apply. We're gonna do the same steps. We're gonna clean the surface using the same solution. If you're a gold member of our channel, remember that you can use our decal calculator and other features included in your membership. The way you can access the decal calculator, just go to our website, rdidecals.com, enter your password provided on YouTube. Now, if you want to get the password to sign in, just go to our YouTube channel, click on the membership or community tab, look for the latest post or the one that provides the password or just send us an email with your YouTube channel or username. After we verify it, we will send you an email with your password. Now, if you want to support us by joining, just go to the join button and choose the membership that you think is best for you. Make sure to read each one as they offer different options. Thank you for your support. This is the end result. I mean, it was a very simple project and it was done with a $200 vinyl cutter. So this is a great option if you got a very small budget and can't wait to leave your job if you want to start your own business. A cameo cutter might be a good option. Now, if you have the money to invest in a better machine, you can definitely consider investing in the Graftec CE 7060, but that's a $2,000 machine. That's the only thing you gotta keep in mind versus a $200 machine. If you get your machines, make sure you get them through our links so we get a commission. Yep. Thank you so much for your support and we'll see you guys until the next one.